Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and to the first puzzle in the first set of Sudoku Tudes. Now, the Sudoku Tudes um, series of puzzles is a series of puzzles that I started creating with um, both with and without Maggie, my mother, um, in order to basically explore the concepts of puzzles that I was growing to learn a lot from solving the World Puzzle Federation puzzles. And what I've been trying to do is say, what have I learned from these? What are the concepts that I want to explore? Now, one of the problems I've always had with Sudoku is I was struggling a lot with the concept of what are the benefits of classic Sudoku. I got very much into variant Sudoku and using classic Sudoku techniques. And I've also in the past had a big struggle with what puzzles that use um, variant Sudoku tricks in order to then just resolve into a classic Sudoku. And I asked myself, why was that? And I wanted to explore these concepts a little bit more. So what I do is I started making puzzles. And this first set is the first set of puzzles that myself and Maggie came up with, mostly me, but Maggie helped with some of them, in order to explore um, this concept and bring you some puzzles. Now, I'm recording this after I have been very unwell. I'm still recovering. Um, but I've made a whole bunch of puzzles for this series, and I'm hoping to bring them to you over the next few months. So let's have a look at the first puzzle in this series, a classic Sudoku. Um, I'm giving them names. Um, this one was created by both Maggie and I, and it's called Milky Way. So um, I'm... We are, we've tried to give these some difficulty ratings. This is an easy puzzle but we're not trying to give them point values or anything. Um, so how does this puzzle work? Um, this is just a classic Sudoku. So what does that mean? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. That's it. So with these videos, I'm um, going to be interested to see what people think of them. Some of these puzzles will be harder than others. Um, I think I would need a lot more testing than I'm getting. I've got a few people who are helping me test these, but testers are of different skill levels and anything, and trying to put them into a specific difficulty category, I think would be challenging. I think what I'm going to end up doing is just releasing the puzzles and let you decide for yourselves. Um, I'm going to start by releasing just the classics at the beginning, and then I will do the variants, at least for set one, and then I'll see what the feedback to that is like and see whether I continue doing classics at the beginning and then moving on to variants or doing something else. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to uh, restart this puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we have no, um, nines looking up, meaning nine has to be here, or this nine looking up saying nine can't go there. This nine looking across nine can't be here. This is nine, um, which of course means nine is not in any of those. This is a nine. Um, now, we do have to put seven in one of those two cells. Now, um, similarly, why am I doing pencil marks like this? Well, in a classic Sudoku, where I have a di single digit restricted down to two possible slots in a single box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it as um, with corner marks like this um, to indicate that these are the only two places that a seven can go in this box. So if I manage to eliminate one of those, I will know the other one has to be the seven. Um, I could see four, can't go in any of those or there. So four is in one of those two. Ah, two, three, and seven. I can actually do better than this. Two, three, and seven can't go in those cells or those cells. So I'm actually going to remove the corner marks and make this two, three, seven. And I'm using center marks here, but to indicate that those are the only, um, these uh, those are the only digits that can go into those cells, a cell being an individual place where a digit can go. And the seven can't go here and the two can't go here. So these are the digits that aren't two, three, seven, six, nine, or eight. So these are one, four, and five. I know this can't be four or five, so that's the one. And this is a four, five pair. The five is looking at making that the four and that the five. I got more information from doing that. I have yet to put an eight into row one, so that's an eight. This is a triple, which I 
second center mark, which is one, five, and six. This six is taking six out of those and making that a six. And now I've got more triples because in this row, I haven't put two, three, or four. So this is two, three, four, but I've got threes looking up saying that there's no three here. This is the three. And the two is looking up making that the four and that the two. The digits I've yet to place in box three are one, five, and eight. There's no one in either of those. So these aren't one, this is a one, and the eight looks up making that the five and that the eight. This column is now missing its seven. Okay, that's a good beginning. Um, now, could I do similar? Well, I can see one and two have to go into those cells because I can't put them in here and those are full. Um, so one is in one of those two, two is in one of those two. Three and nine have to go down here. Not sure about the three, but nine is in one of those two. Eight and eight puts eight in one of those two. Six is, uh, no, that's not quite as good. Five is in one of those two. Okay. Um, seven, seven in box seven. That seven says seven's not there. That seven says seven's not in any of those. So seven is in one of those two. So now seven is in one of those two. Eight and eight is putting eight in one of, oh, uh, yeah, I've got three eights. Eight isn't in those, in those, or in those. This is an eight. So now three, maybe, no, four is in one of those two because of the two fours looking down. One, not yet. So what about this column? One, two, three, and nine. So this is only three or nine. Three is not in any of those. Two is not in any of those. Well, hang on. What have we got here? Because this can't be one, two, three. These can't be one, two, three, five, six, or seven, eight. This is a four, nine pair. Because they can't be one, two, three. They could be four. They can't be five, six, seven, eight. This is a four, nine pair. So we know what this triple is. One, two, and three. Yeah, this one, two, three, where does it go in this row? Couldn't go in any of those. So this was a one, two, three. The two is looking down saying that's not the two. The three is looking down saying that's not the three. But these are now, I've got to put a four in here. So this becomes a four, seven pair. And one, two, three, four, five, this is a six, eight pair. So the six, eight pair, of course, means that this is one or two to complete the column. And there's, ooh, Seven, 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 that works. Four, 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 this is a four, seven pair. So these, oh, this five is looking up, making that the one and that the five, meaning this isn't the one, but this is now a two or a three as well. But this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. There's no eight there, uh, but there's no seven in any of those. So that's the seven and the five is looking across, making that the eight and that the five. The eight looks back, making that the six and that the eight. Six and six, six is in one of those two. So one, two, and oh, the seven, yeah. Seven looks back, making that the four and that the seven. And now this is one, two, six. So that can't be the four, that's the four. This is a three, nine. Um, and these are one, two, six. So one in there, two in there, six in there, and I can remove the corner marks. So one, two, three, four, five, and nine go into here. And there's a four, five looking across. So that's the nine, that's the four, that's the five. That makes this the nine. And these are two, four, and six. There's no four there, there's no two there. Okay. These are one, three, six, and seven. So this is one, three, six. And this is one, six, seven. Interesting. Weird. 
So what do I have to put in here? I have to put a seven in there, don't I? These, no, I don't. One, two, three, four, five, one, three, six. These are one, three, six. There's no one here. So one is in one of those two. So that's not a one. Huh. Did we test this incorrectly as easy? Maybe. I haven't looked at this puzzle in several weeks, maybe? I don't know. One is in one of those two. One is in one of those two. Yeah, that's all working. So what have we got in this row? Three, four, six, and seven. So this is three, six, or seven only. Hmm, okay. Six is in one of those two. This was tested. I'm not going to blame the fact that I've been sick. Uh, this three is looking up saying that's not a three. So this is a one or a six. I'm going to fully pencil mark, I think. Can't be one, can't be two, can't be three, can't be four, can't be five, six, seven, can't be eight, six, seven, or nine. And it could be one, can't be two, could be three, can't be four, five, could be six, one, three, six. Oh, hang on, why can't that be nine? Oh, that can't be nine. Nine and nine, that can't be nine, that's a nine. Which makes, right, that was what I was missing, which makes that the three, that the nine. The three looks up taking three out of all of those. This is a six, seven pair taking six out of those. This is a one, three, looking back, making that the two, which makes that the six, that the four, that the two. That's what I missed. I can't believe I missed that for so long. Sorry. Um, the two makes this the three, this the one, this the two, looking up, making that the one, which makes that the six, that the three. The six looks back, making that the seven and that the six. The seven looks up, making that the three, which looks down, making that the one and that the three. The one looks down, making that the six, which makes that the two and that the one. The two looks up, making that the seven and that the two. And this four looks back, making that the seven and that the four. And that is the solution to the puzzle. And I am going to like it. It was made over two weeks ago, just over two weeks ago. Um, or at least it was submitted for testing just over two weeks ago. Um, when I test these puzzles, I don't test them under their actual name. Um, this is, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, wanted these to be classics that would help people to learn some of the basics of classic scanning and everything, including me. Um, and some of these puzzles will ramp up in difficulty as we go along. My goal is not to make a, a championship set puzzle stack or anything, just release a, a few puzzles at a time. And the first set I think is going to be 12 um, and then just release a set every few months um, or every couple of months or something in order for people to just Want if who want to to come along on my journey? A lot of puzzles set with a lot of given digits where you have to use Sudoku to um it, like the 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 concepts of scanning and classic Sudoku in order to be able to progress through the grids. Hope you enjoy the series. Hope you're enjoying this puzzle at least so far. The only one you would have seen. And as always, good luck with your solving.